Hi everybody, thank you so much for joining to watch my channel. If you are new here, my name is Destiny and I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. I sell mainly everything clothing. I do sell all women's and all men's clothing. So I wanted to jump on here and kind of do a little thrift haul really quickly because I went thrifting yesterday and I found some different brands that I don't usually find a lot. So they're not brands that are new to me, but they're brands that I don't find all the time and there are some really exciting brands that I found. So I figured I would jump on here and do a little thrift haul. So let's get into it. So first brand I found is the brand called Ariat. I love finding Aria. I don't find it a lot, unfortunately, but it's a men's and women's brand. If you find Aria jeans, they sell really, really quickly for good money. But this is a um, men's Aria. I don't know if it's Aria or Aria, so sorry if I'm pronouncing it wrong. But this is a, a men's Aria. I probably keep saying it's different every time I say it. Um, but in town polo, it's a size large. It's called the Ariat Pro Series. So this should probably sell for around $30, $35. So I was excited to find this and I'm excited to get it listed. Then I picked up, this is a brand called Johnny O. It's a, a men's polo. They sell polos, shorts, and pants. I love selling the brand Johnny O. It sells really quickly for me. This is a men's striped polo. It's a size 2XL. It's like a really nice performance polo so i should get about 25 35 dollars for this polo next i sold the brand called lucky brand i love selling lucky brand jeans especially in the men's these are called the 221 original straight they're like a pair of men's light wash jeans um, i usually get about 20 25 dollars sometimes 30 dollars these are really nice so i might get about 30 dollars for these men's jeans if you can find lucky brand jeans and pick them up for a lower price i would definitely pick them up next is a brand i don't find a lot but this was an exciting find it's called diane von furstenberg and these are a pair of women's these are wide leg pants so i'm really excited to get these listed diane von furstenberg it is kind of um depends on the style but i do love picking this brand up and i don't usually find it a lot but i should probably get about 35 40 dollars for these women's pants and they have pockets everybody loves a pair of pants with pockets next we have the brand called j jill i love selling j jill this is a women's turtleneck it's actually it's called um j jill lux supima turtleneck tunic if you can find j jill in the plus sizes they're gonna sell really quickly and for more money but i do like picking up j jill kind of in anything this is a women's size medium so i should probably get about 25 dollars for this then i picked up this is the brand called cloth in stone it's actually um under anthropology i do love picking up cloth in stone and these were interesting they're like i don't know what kind of print this is but they're a pair of jogger pants um the joggers tend to sell really well for me so i should probably get about 25 30 dollars for this i don't find cloth and stone a lot but i do like picking up this brand this was an exciting find i don't find this brand like rarely ever but i hear everybody talk about it it's called faher tea so i was really excited to find this i think it's a men's a men's fit i don't know if it's faher tea or faher tea i don't know but it's a, a really great men's brand this is like a, i don't know if they do men's and women's but this is a i'm pretty sure it's a men's long sleeve button down so I actually don't know what I'm going to get for this. I don't know, maybe $30, $35. This is just another pair of Lucky Brand jeans. These are called the 410 Athletic Slim Men's Jeans. Again, I should probably get about $25, $30. These are a little bit different. They have like, you see how it's like frayed up here? I don't know if that's good or bad, but I thought they were interesting. They're really nice really nice pair of jeans okay if you guys want something right now that has over a 100 sell-through rate it's american eagle women's flare jeans it, they're crazy like the sell-through rate is crazy these are called the artist flare jeans they're really nice love picking up american eagle men's and women's jeans but especially right now with anything wide leg or flare is really in style I'm selling really quickly so these are a pair of women's American Eagle flare jeans. I should probably get about $25, $30 for these. Then I picked up Abercrombie & Fitch. I do like picking up Abercrombie & Fitch women's jeans and shorts. I know it's not summer yet, but people right now are kind of, we're transitioning from winter into summer. So these are a pair of women's Abercrombie & Fitch shorts. They're called the High Rise Mom Short. 
Um, so I should probably get about $20, $25 for these. This is Adriano Goldschmied. I do love picking up Adriano Goldschmied men's and women's jeans. This is called the Stilt Cigarette Crop. And they're kind of like a raw hem at the bottom. I should probably get about $25, $30 for these. If you can find Adriana Goldschmied at a lower price, I would definitely pick them up. This was an exciting find for me too because I don't find this a lot at all. It's called Sundance. This is a size extra large. It's a really pretty women's skirt. I think it's like a tropical palm tree print. Um, but again, I don't find this brand a lot, so I was really excited to find this. I should probably get maybe about $30, $35 for this. Next, we have a pair of J. Jill. This is a size extra large, just women's like elastic waist pull-on shorts with pockets. I should probably get about $30 for these. I do love finding and picking up J. Jill. This is kind of a newer brand to me. It's called Bob Mackie. I think they make, it says wearable art on here, but they make like really pretty women's like art clothing. So this is like a floral print over here and it's a full zip jacket. So if you find the brand Bob Mackie, I would definitely look it up. Um, I could probably get about $30, $35 for this. Next I picked up, this is a brand called Gretchen Scott. I do love picking up Gretchen Scott. They make like pull-on pants and they make shirts as well. But I like picking up these specific style, just the women's pull-on pant. And they have a little slit on the back of here. Uh, I should probably get about $25, $30 for these. Then I picked up another pair of Adriano Goldschmied. These are called the Prima Mid-Rise Cigarette Leg. These are a bigger size. Usually when I find Adriano Goldschmied in the women's jeans, it's always like a smaller size. These are size 32R and they're a pair of dark wash jeans. So I should probably get about $30, maybe $35 for these jeans since they're a bigger size. Then I picked up Prana. These are a pair of Prana women's um like gray wash jeans upon it is a women's and men's outdoor like hiking brand that i really love picking up um this is just a pair of women's low rise jeans i should probably get about um 25 30 dollars for these next i picked up lily pulitzer i love really picking up anything in lily pulitzer but i picked up um these are a pair of women's like pajama pants I picked up a pair of women's pajama shorts uh, like two weeks ago and they sold literally in like 20 minutes on Poshmark. So I picked up these pajama pants are a size extra small. I should probably get about um, maybe $30, $35 for these. Uh, if you can find Lily Pulitzer at a decent price, I would definitely pick it up. Then I saw this is a brand called Foot Joy. These are a pair of like men's pink plaid shorts. I do love picking up Foot Joy. Um, they're shorts pants or they make like windbreakers half zips sell really well i should probably get about 25 30 dollars for these i feel like i feel something in here maybe i'm just going crazy something in the pocket hmm, just has a little oh extra buttons in the pocket it's always a good thing i picked up another pair and these have actually sold they literally sold within five minutes on poshmark of me listing these these are super high rise women's american eagle flare jeans and i already sold these on poshmark for 31 dollars. so again if you find women's american eagle flare jeans for a good price definitely pick them up they are selling really fast right now this is another brand i don't find a lot but i'm excited when i find it it's called pelagic the tag is kind of faded on here, um, but Pelagic is a really great men's like fishing outdoor brand. And I usually always find these like board shorts. So if you find the brand Pelagic, they're board shorts or swim trunks or just regular shorts, you should probably get about $30 for these. It's a really great brand. Then I picked up Peter Millar. I actually didn't realize until I got home that I'm pretty sure this is a kid's shirt because it says size extra large and then like in parentheses it says 13, 14. And it's definitely not like a men's extra large. So I do love picking up Peter Millar. It's called the Summer Comfort Polos. These sell really well. I used to get like almost $35 for these, but now it's maybe maybe about 30. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna get for a kids. I would say maybe about 20, 25 bucks for this polo. So if you find Peter Millar, it's a really great men's brand. Next I pick up Athleta. This is a newer style, which is why I picked it up. It's called Athleta the Brooklyn Short. I love picking up Athleta in something that's their newer styles and you can always look it up by the style name or the style tag. 
how much you probably get about $25 for these. Next is a brand I've sold many times before, but I don't always find it a lot. It's called Carve Designs. I've always find these shorts. They're like a pair of women's corduroy shorts. I've sold probably four or five of these in the past. I believe I've sold them for like $30 or $35. And this is a larger size, size 12. So again, Carve Designs is a really great women's brand. And I've only found the shorts, um, but if you find Carve Designs, I would definitely pick it up. Next I picked up, I have not found this brand a lot, but I was really excited to find it. It's called A Gold Day. And this is just a pair of women's um, like button fly jean shorts. But when I was looking up comps, like their shorts, their jeans sell for a ton of money, like between $40 and $60 pre-owned. Um, so I'm excited to pick these up and get these listed. I'm hoping to get, I don't know, maybe about $35, $40 for these shorts. This is a brand called Rails. I love finding Rails. It's a really great um, like women's brand. I picked up their tops a couple times. This is a really pretty just like short sleeve rainbow top. It's a size medium. I should probably get about $30, $35 for this top. Then I picked up Aloe, which is another brand I don't find a lot, but I like picking up if when I do find them. These are a pair of really nice women's high rise, um, really pretty blue leggings. Like they just feel super nice. So I should probably get maybe about $35, $40 for these women's Aloe leggings. Next is a pair of Seven for All Mankind jeans. I love picking up men's Seven for All Mankind jeans these are called they're just called the standard ones if you find seven for all mankind they're called the Lux performance jeans those will definitely increase your sell-through rate and the price um these are just a pair of men's button fly jeans i should probably get about 35 dollars for these jeans then we just have another pair of pelagic i was really excited to find these another pair again men's pelagic like board swim shorts i should probably get about 30 bucks for these then i found this is called saint john which i'm not too familiar with this um but i heard this is a really great like kind of luxury brand um it's called the saint john emma pant they're like a pair of women's like just business casual there might be like wide leg pants um so i should maybe get about 40 45 dollars there 50% wool and 50% viscose. So I'm excited to look this up and see what I can get for these. Next we have Travis Matthew. I love selling Travis Matthew, their men's polos and their shorts. This I picked up, it was new with tags. It's a men's size small black polo. I was really excited that it was new with tags. Um, so I should maybe get about $35, $40 for this. Next, this is what I was talking about with the men's windbreaker. This is Foot Joy again. They make, um, it's called Foot Joy Dry Joy. So if you find the Dry Joys, it's a really great style to pick up. This is like a half zip men's like windbreaker. I should probably get about $30, $35 for this. Then we have, this was a brand I've always heard about and I've never found. So I have to like do some research on it, but it's called Reese. It says 1971 Reese made in Turkey. Um, they're called the Tailored Slender Fit. They are a pair of like men's jeans. So I don't know what I can get for these, but I was really excited to find this brand. I mean, I'm thinking at definitely at least $30. So if you guys have heard of the brand Reese, let me know, because I know I definitely have. This was my first time picking it up. Next I picked up, this is the brand called Lagens. I don't find this a lot. Um, but I have picked it up multiple times before. This brand generally will take a while to sell for me, but it does sell for some good money. So these are a pair of women's, they have like yellow stripes on the side, jeans, and they're size 32. So I'm hoping to get about uh, maybe $40, $45 for these. And then lastly, I picked up, this is called Banana Republic. I don't definitely don't pick up really anything in banana republic but i looked these up just because they felt so nice they're a pair of men's like gray chino pants they're called the banana republic travel jean slim fit so surprisingly when i looked these up the sell through rate was over 100 percent so i could probably get about 25 30 dollars for these and they should hopefully sell pretty quickly for me okay and that's it for me so i just wanted to jump on and do a little thrift haul because again these are brands that i don't come across a lot so when i do it's really exciting for me to find and i just wanted to show you guys maybe some new brands that i haven't showed before here on my channel so if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you on my next video